So, um, I have a feeling that I'm probably going to get baby corn snakes this year. Um, because I think the last couple of years we didn't really, um, you know, we didn't even know until like last year. Uh, so we have to keep the, um, so apparently, um, me and Nana have actually took, uh, taken some like, uh, steps in order to make sure that the female snake is um away from like shadow for a bit um so it should be like in a box on our own um a nesting box in other words uh, meaning she would leave like moist uh substrate um in order to like um lay our eggs and such um and then um having another box so then that other box will have the eggs in it which will have some sort of hatch right in it um to be able to help the eggs um hatch um um and then uh, we'll have another bo um, box which will be for the babies um to be in uh so i i actually don't know how many eggs they'll have but um, I am guessing probably really around 28 if it's lucky or whatever, um, but I think we'll see. Um, I'm also thinking, um, after she has laid her egg, basically laid her eggs or whatever, um, done her thing. Now, apparently I can't put her back in the enclosure with Shadow yet, uh, because for reasons she needs to get an operation, um, uh, or basically or the other way around or he needs to have the operation or she needs to have the operation um now i think it's what's best is i think the fa if the female gets the operation then i think the boy won't be interested um because i think that's the reason um i think the female would have to have it done and then the male will leave the girl alone um because if he smells that she can't have it then it means it would have worked. Um, so apparently, um, we'll have actually have her have her operation after she's had her eggs. Um, so then she won't have any more eggs after that. Um, uh, so then she can go freely back into the enclosure with the uh, shadow. Um, so so for now, she would have to be in a box up to um, either May or June. Um, um to hatch our eggs apparently um now apparently we would have to keep her in there um meaning we'd have to um kind of like um take her out um clear that enclosure out or whatever um like nest nesting box or whatever and then um put her back in until we can actually get her to have an operation um and then once she's had the operation um then um then I could basically just put it back in with Shadow, like I said before. Um, so, um, my sister thinks there'll be 50 eggs. Um, that'll be very lucky, um, if she, if it does. Um, I, since this is basically the first clutch of eggs that, um, you know, that, like, uh, we're all trying to look after, um, because the last one last year we didn't really focus a look after because I think most of them got eaten. Um, one of them was slug like, um, meaning we didn't pay any attention to the eggs. Um, because for one we didn't know. So this year we actually are focusing on the eggs this time. Um, so um, <laughs> apparently this is our first time looking after the eggs. Um, so, um, apparently you just learn as you go along, kind of like, um, when I had the guinea pigs. Um, now, now, that one was a mistake, um, it was an accident, uh, because we didn't know the female guinea pig was pregnant. Um, so, uh, apparently alongside her other female friend, which wasn't pregnant, um, because she was like, with, you know, a male, um, at a very young age, so that's why, the reason why one of the guinea pigs died, um, yeah, um, the mother, in other words. So, so I don't think it would be the same mistake with the snakes. Um, I think we might get some hatched, um, some good eggs, I, I reckon. Um, and I'm hoping maybe there's a chance that all of them might survive, or some of them might survive. Um, 
because I think there's a chance that there might be some bad eggs, um, meaning ones that are either um, like sluggy or ones that are actually um, half slugged, meaning the ones that are half slugged would have to be like usually separated from like the normal white eggs, um, usually. Um, like watched after or something like that um yeah so um apparently we are basically going to focus on it um, um apparently i have a container downstairs but uh, i wasn't really um uh, well apparently we tried to make a hole in the top and it just cracked it a bit more uh so i suggest to my nano that we need like um like some sort of heating thing or whatever um, that would be able to like um, like make like a little hole in the in it um, to be able for the, like this you know like the um, for one to be able to like allow the like snakes or whatever to just breathe um, and such um, which also could help the eggs um, such um how this would be great for me because um no i've never actually um seen a, i've never actually hatched um baby snakes before i've never actually um seen too many come out of their eggs um it'd be cute um to see something like that um to see them actually come out of their own eggs um um it'd be so adorable um it would probably break my heart um to see it um and uh and also we'd probably have to feed them um because they would need food um as babies they need like um they need to be like fed to um every couple of like weeks or so usually they get fed more than the parents um because the reason is the babies get fed more um because the feed you know the babies and they have to heat more um so apparently it looks like i'm gonna be glad apparently my sister will name the um the white snake uh to dove um because at first we didn't know it was a um a, a, a girl um, so that's why she called it Sky at first, so she decided to call, uh, and then she just, basically after finding it was a female, she decided to call it, um, um, you know, decided to call it Dove instead. Um, so apparently my granddad doesn't know, um, apparently my granddad still thinks she's not going to hatch her eggs, and I'm like, uh, and I was actually saying that's because she's been kept in the wrong, um, wrong you know wrong um thing or whatever um like it's been done wrong um she's not supposed to hatch her eggs near a mate um because for one that shadow would probably eat them um which i think that's why most of the eggs went missing over the years um because he kept eating her eggs or something like that um and uh and she also felt hungry and distressed you know because of him um, so I think basically when she does lay her eggs, um, she'd probably feel a bit safer, um, in a separate box on her own. So then she'd probably, um, want to protect their eggs, um, which is a thing among snakes. Um, so straight thing I'd have to do is like watch the, um, keep watching apparently, um, like, like actually watch where, um, like, what, what she actually does or whatever um like to see if she actually did lay her eggs and keep checking and checking and checking if she did and then if she did um take the eggs away from her um because um now apparently usually snakes are defensive um but with con snakes i don't know because um so far i've seen videos of con snakes not actually biting like they don't mind they're like really docile most of the time um so i think taking eggs away from a con snake is one of the best bets because usually snakes intend to eat their own babies um so i think that's a good thing um separating them so like if you take a snake away or whatever, um like snake eggs and you put them like somewhere else um to hatch they would probably be better, I think, and 
more survival, more survival rate for the babies. Um, so, um, now apparently with the eggs, they would probably have to like, um, separate, like, um, like take them off, um, each other because they'd be like stuck together. Um, and then I'd have to like put them in a box or whatever, um, so that, um, they won't get rolled over, something like that. Um, which is something I'll probably do. Um, so then it'll give them time to hatch the right way. Um, cause, and then uh, as certain days go by, um, and like say the eggs haven't hatched yet, um, but some have or whatever. So it's like as soon as like some of those snakes have hatched, then then all we would have to do is like make a hole, um, like a tiny little snip in like the top of the egg um, to let them out. Um, to see how healthy they are because I know some baby snakes don't have the energy to um, push through um, so I'm like really excited um, my sister wanted to name um, name a couple of uh, baby snakes and I was saying just don't get too attached because you're not actually keeping the babies <laughs> um, because I am actually going to sell the babies um, to like um, to anyone that actually wants the baby snakes, um, so, um, um, around my area or something like that, um, now I know my, um, my uncle wants one, um, he's been wanting snakes for a while now, um, so I think I may actually, um, give him, um, some, um, so I think he might ask for two snakes, so then I'd probably give him two snakes, um, out of the uh, clutch um, of babies. Um, as for the others, um, I'd probably do it through Facebook um, because I think that's the best way um, because uh, when I put it on there, um, then um, a lot of people might come around for like baby snakes because, well, for one, they're small and adorable um, and they're cute. Um, so I'd like to see how many um, albinos I get um, out of the clutch. Um, my sister's uh, guessing that one of them will be black or something like that. Um, and, I'm, and I actually do say that uh, most of them might look the same. So you might not be able to tell between them all. Um, because for one, there might be like 30 eggs or so. Um, or a bit less than that. Um, so... Um, no, apparently my um, nana guesses 15 eggs, um, but again, I guess more, um, because cause it's snakes. Um, corn snakes usually lay a lot, usually, um, depending. Um, so apparently I am going to keep it with 28 as my guess um, for snakes. Um, so as of right now, I um, due to the amount of like um stress the female snake goes into um due to my um due to my snake always wanting to push her um um she might end up with more more eggs um which might be a bit overwhelming for her maybe um so <laughs> i think i think it's um probably for the best she stays away from him for the time being um so um so usually I never actually um uh hatch stuff um uh so basically again this is kind of like um you know like one of those accident sort of things um like you didn't know like a certain snake was like um like, you didn't know it was actually a female until you actually noticed it was a female, um, by the way it, um, you can try to ignore the, the male, um, meaning the male was always on top or whatever, sniffing, um, and the female was always trying to get away, um, that's basically how you know, um, between, like, corn snakes, um, because the female always usually tries to get away from the male because the male always wants to go after her, um, you know, to mate, um, which is like breeding, um, because usually it's to do with like them wrapping, um, around each other, um, 
so in a way it's the male um the way they usually the male does it is he wraps he wraps himself around her to stop her from getting away um so then then they have the mating um go on it's kind of like a courtship dance to snakes um uh which is their thing of mating um so um so yeah um so apparently how many eggs uh do you think that um sky um the white albino snake will have um comment down below um in the video and um, yeah